The dam seems to be one stretch of a hand away now. I must make haste. I doubt the Aurora will be able to wait for long. to see you and I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora they are worried and I get that this place isn't as simple as it first seemed come I'll show you let's go Artyom Hear the counter-react? There's a hell of a lot of radioactive sediment behind that concrete. And soon, it will bring an end to this valley. Because the dam barely holds. Use your binoculars if you don't believe me. We can't stay here. Nobody can, really. Ah, well... See that zipline? Those kids built it, back when there wasn't as much seepage. That's where we need to go. The old man said the Aurora will soon be on the dam. We gotta hurry. I think something's wrong at the Aurora. It seems that Anna is not doing too good. We'll know more soon. <laughs> Come on, Artyom! Damn, that is a lot of dirt! Pretty understanding. Believe me when I said we're not the enemies. She was the one who let me go from their camp. Love at first sight. I kept telling you people about my animal magnetism. So, here's your proof. <laughs> she was so snitty. She even walked with me. And, you know, this is something new for me. I hated to say goodbye. I asked her to come with us. Ah, I can't leave them all. She's so strong! So now I have this thought stuck in my head. I hope Olga persuades all those guys to leave. And leaves herself. I don't like this feeling, Artyom. There's this beast they saw. A bear the size of a freaking house. Hear that? I think it smelled us. Right there? Oh, what the hell?
beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. <laughs> We're done. <sighs> Olga! I told you people, they just needed passage. Are you sure you're not coming? I'm sorry, Anush. I can't just stop and live like this. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Get them out of the valley! There's death behind the dam! I just hope she convinces them! They are stubborn like children like this! Even though they look like this, those pioneers, huh? I shall handle them alright! You guys really had us worried there. Is in bad shape. We must move. Time is short. Neither the air nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. Come! We all remained silent while the Aurora was running along the poison sea held at bay by the dam. We believed we'd be back. Now, having seen the sword of Damocles hanging over the valley, we knew it was not meant to be. Alyosha is especially worried. His Olga is there. Perhaps he will be able to warn her via radio and save the people there. What happens next? I have no idea. I am ready for anything.
Anything but one thing. Anna, please hold on. Without you, I have nothing to live for, nothing to dream about. Doubly so, since if not for that dream of mine, you'd be all right now. You know, when I found this photo of the Pacific Ocean, I just knew for some reason that we were going to go there in the end. All these rivers, mountains, deserts, they just won't do. It's ocean or bust. I believed we could make it. I did. get there. And if I need some help, you'll be there for me. You will save me again, won't you? <coughs> Artyom, please, stop torturing yourself. It hurts to even look at you. You and Dad, too. It's not your dream, and not his belief in the occupying forces. It's just fate. Stupid piece of cloth in the wind. Rotten concrete. An idiotic ammo dump. <coughs> Artyom, you should go. I'll give her a shot. Let her sleep a bit. Come with me, Bratucha. There are things to discuss. Hey! Leave your work for the moment! Come to the bridge! Stepan, come to the bridge! All right, one moment! Tell me what happened, Nastya. Did someone bully you? No. Why are you crying, then? I'm afraid. Afraid? What of? <coughs> this. I have this scarf. What if it's like Aunt Anna's? <laughs> Don't worry, Nastya. You didn't breathe any gas after all. It's just a cold. We'll fix it in no time. And Aunt Anna? Olga! Mm. Alyosha here. I'm online as promised. I hope you can hear me. We did examine the dam and reservoir. You have to leave the valley as soon as possible, at least before the rainy season starts. The dam is barely holding, and if it gives, the valley will be washed away, and everything that remains will be deadly. Leave tomorrow, or even better, yesterday. Talk to the other girls. Get them to raise the issue at the council session. Even the pirates will have to obey if it passes. Just leave me a note so that I know what in the world. Conversation is not gonna be simple, I think. Until today, we thought that this shot of Novosibirsk was a simple error. What's we wrong with it? The legend says irradiated zones are highlighted in shades of green, while purple highlights indicate errors. Today, though, I found some small print. The thing is, radiation levels way outside of normal operational range of the scanner are also marked as errors. Simply put, the radiation there may well be completely off the scale. 
We're about 500 clicks from Novosibirsk, and the radiation outside wow. is almost as high as back in Moscow. There. It got me a morad. Ah, the shots are 20 years old. The radiation can't be quite as high now, but still, Novosibirsk is most probably... So what do we do now? I'll tell you what we do. Artyom and I will go. This is not right. the other way. We go no. together. No. No. So, All right. please. She is my daughter. His wife. My paranoia about the occupation forces drove her into that damned bunker. And Artyom with his dream. He dragged us out of Moscow. So we too are to blame. Still, we are the order. We are one crew and we should all act accordingly. We should all go. Discussion is closed. This is not an order mission. It is a personal errand, mine and Arthur's. We don't need any help. Second, we don't know the exact location of the medicine. It might be in the city center or in one of the Academ Gorodok labs. So Anna's life might well end up in your hands too. Third and last, wherever we might go, winter is coming, and getting the Aurora stuck in snow is what? That's something we can't allow. Do you remember what Yermak said? That reminds him, the huge railway technology museum at the city outskirts. We'll almost certainly find a snowplow for the Aurora there. So, gentlemen. Your missions are to search the Academ Gorodot labs and prepare Aurora for the winter. Crew, get ready for the mission. Also, we are starting constant radiation level monitoring outside. Effective immediately. Sam, you're first. Yes, sir. I think that lethal radiation levels there are actually good news for us. Uh, you mean there was nobody left to rob the drugstores and hospitals? <laughs> exactly. Unlike the towns we've been to. <sighs> Colonel, sir. An update on the suits. Yes. What's the situation? I managed to assemble only two complete ones. You see? They're for Artyom and me. It's fate, that's what it is. <sighs> Will they help? Well, they'll protect you from dust. But even the direct radiation there is so high, it could... Yes, sir. Can you add more protection? <sighs> sure, your man does have some lead sheets in store. But the suits are rather bulky and heavy as it is. We aren't exactly attending a dance party there. How much time will it give us? A couple of hours. Not enough, I think. Better than nothing. Don't worry. We'll make do. Always have. I'll add some lead shielding to the car's cabin. Try to stay inside for as long as you can out there. Thanks. Get on it then. Yes, Colonel Sir. Transported it there from Moscow. 
Ha! It's a great specimen. You'll like it for sure. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm quite sure about that. Well, I guess I'll go. Tokari might need some help there. Yes, he might. I still think we should look for that SETCOM center while we're at it. Where? How? There's a whole sector blotted out on the image. And look at its location. Sure, the Academia Radok is rather bad, but not too dangerous. Anna isn't giving up. She believes in me. Believes in us. And for a good reason. Thousands of kilometers of track behind us. We are finally approaching Novosibirsk. A dead city concealing her hope for life. The medicine that could save her. Somewhere in its cold, irradiated heart. A year ago, we left the poisoned ruins of Moscow. And now we are about to enter another city stiff in the murderous embrace of winter and radiation. Will we ever find somewhere to live on the surface? Maybe. But for now, we're returning back into the bowels of Metro. Back to Savanna. and the radiation's climbing like crazy. I think there'll be no nutcases this time. Hmm. The houses are undamaged too. Sam, what's with the radiation? Eight times higher than in Moscow and still climbing, Colonel. I think we better not stay outside for too long here. Are you ready, Artem? Follow me! Good luck! You can rely on us! here looks more complex than we thought. Still, time is short, so we're taking the direct approach. Let's refresh the plan. Yermak! We'll take the Aurora south to the Sibirskaya cargo station. Uh, I marked it. Stefan! Christ, Sam, Idiot, and I will handle the Institute building in Akademgorodok. We'll pay a visit to the Railroad Museum on the way. There might be something for the Aurora. I'm staying to guard the Aurora with Tokarev. Good. Artyom and I are checking the Institute's main building. Radiation is way too high here, so we'll try to get there through the metro. Well, let's get to it. Good luck, Spartans. Good luck. Good luck. Watch over her for us until Artyom and I come back. Please? Of course. Teddy and I will be her guard. Will you help me, Teddy? Private Teddy, mission acknowledged. Goodbye, Uncle Artyom. Don't worry about Aunt Anna. Teddy and I will watch over her. She's sleeping. Are you waiting? Yes. I hope we'll make it in time. 
Anna is strong. She'll be here for you. She definitely will. Just make sure you come back. Thank you, Katia. Come in, Artyom. The attack ended. I did my best. So you don't have to worry. Her pulse is strong. She's just exhausted. She'll probably sleep till tomorrow now. Come back soon. Seeing you would be the best medicine. You're here, Colonel Sir. Thank you. Artyom, this is no Moscow where you could loiter outside for months. Who knows what monsters live here? So think well what to pack. I'll be waiting at the car. Gear up, Artyom. I cleaned your guns and put all the ammo and resources we had left in here. You're going to need it. With it or on it! You ready? We are. So, Artyom, here's your chance. Our last chance to save Anna. We must make it count. Settle up. You keep over, watch. I'll be busy watching the road. It's not squeaky clean, I'm sure. Good luck, gentlemen. We are her last hope now. All those carriages stuck here. A failed evacuation, I presume. Let's try to get into the square behind the station. The metro entrance should be there. All right. Walking here would be easier, but we should minimize our exposure. So here goes nothing. Definitely not entering the metro through here. Too much snow. Take the wheel, Artyom. I'll handle the navigation. We'd better use the map here. No time for driving in circles. All right. 
The map puts the metro entrance quite close to our position. This road should get us to the city center. Take it, but keep looking around. There might be a way into the metro on the way. Oh, so much snow. And the storm is getting worse by the minute. Weird feeling. The buildings are intact, but the city is dead. Don't you think Moscow was better, eh? Nowhere else to go. Try the court off on the left. Don't rush it. We're done for if we get stuck. Go straight here. Careful, Artyom. Careful. Still getting worse, as well as the radiation. We can't stay here. Turn left. There, that way should take us back to the main road. God damn it! Another car pile! Seems like a tank passed through here. Let's follow it. Damn. I hope the car could take us further. We'll have to walk from here. And we'll have to be quick. The radiation's rising. The pilgrims won't last long. Finally here! Let's find a way to the city center. Hmm. That's what I call a cave -in. Got any ideas on how we get into that tunnel? Through the carriage! I'll help you open that! Let's 
skeletons all around. These have been here for at least 20 years. Let's move on and keep your eyes peeled. These guys can't hurt us, but the survivors might. We need to get to the Lenin Square station. The Institute is a stone throw from there. The metro isn't very deep here, and with the radiation so high, the locals probably didn't last long. It's a bit safer down here, though we've already taken at least triple the norm up there. The tunnels. This is just like back home. We're in our element here. What do you know? The air is breathable! Ah, mutants again! Going to have a go at us? Let them try, I say. Straightway is blocked. Take a look around, Artyom. We need to get into the tunnel next to ours. Probably related to the mutants from back home. And this metro is crawling with them. I guess we can handle these. What do these things even eat here? Not people, that's for sure. in such collectors. Let's try to get through down there. We could squeeze through here. Get out!
We could get out here. And here are the locals. Hmm. Reminds one of that execution pit in Moscow, doesn't it? Eight thousand kilometers later, and we're at an execution pit again. I wonder if they were called spies too. People died a year ago at most. There might still be survivors. Stay at the Come on, and watch out! What could have happened here? They were all executed. It doesn't seem like a war at all. at any moment. Let's see. Whoa, look at this dust. Seems solid enough. Outskirts. Hey, wait, I'll pop a flare. Damn. This was war after all. Hmm. Oh, they'd been defending with these armored trolleys. And when those were taken out, they blew the tunnel up. The reinforcements never arrived. Let's go to this station. We might find something out there. Ah, our old pal, the Dushka. A full-blown siege. The defenders were protecting the station entrance. There were quite a few survivors here, until they killed each other off. Looks like that lie in Moscow did work after all. What is better, I wonder? Life built on a lie? Or death born out of truth? What? I feel... Uh, strange. Hmm. Huh. 
What was that? You might find something useful. If we move forward from here, we should get into the ventilation tunnel, and from there, to the next track tunnel. Weapon 
Is that ready? Hey, and that great is loose. Check it out, will you? Check that pipe out. Run through here, I've noticed. Check that side out. I'll have a look here. Come out! We won't hurt you! Soldier, identify yourself. Private Krill Plevnikov, Oskom, Rapid Response Unit. And you won't get another word from me, Plevnikov. so you can kill me now. All right, Private. We mean no harm to anyone. Just take us to your commanding officer. What do you mean you mean no harm? I'm from Oskom. Aren't you with them? Them? Yeah, I don't know who you mean by that, but if they kill children, we're definitely against them. So, you can take us to your commander. Mm, why do you want to see him? We're on an important mission, details of which may only be disclosed to ranking officers. You just have to take us to them. Besides, you don't really have much choice. All right. No monkey business, mind you. This way. The station's nearby. Which station is it? Which? It's Prospect, of course. Just one section to the Institute. We're close, Artyom. All clear. Come on. Wait. You said you were close. But why do you need the Institute? <laughs> you are persistent. We're on a mission, but that's all I can tell. Mission to the Institute? But there's no more green stuff left there. Green stuff? Uh, what's that? You don't know? Wait. Which station are you from? Artyom is from the Exhibition, and I'm from Polis. Huh? Where is that? It's in Moscow, soldier. Wait! Damn! Crisis. Give me a boost here! Come on! Please! See 
you like some of this? You can come out now. Hey, where did you go? Did he just run? Uh, how are we supposed to find him now? We shouldn't have taken eyes off him. I'm here. Oh, he's alive. Ha. It was only a couple of mutants. Are you really from Moscow? We are. I'm Colonel Miller, leader of a special task force. Artyom here is one of my subordinates. We came from Moscow on a train. Wow, this is cool. Wait a second, I'll open the gate. 